morning Shem stars. Welcome to the class of chemistry. Today we will begin with the topic. Classification of crystalline solids. Now to classify these crystalline solids what is their criteria? That is nature of intermolecular forces operating in these crystalline solids into four categories. Atomic solids, molecular solids, ionic solids, covalent solids and metallic solids. Atomic solids and covalent solids are same. So finally there are four categories of crystalline solids. Let's discuss these stepwise. So first one that's molecular solids. Its constituent particles are molecules which are further subdivided into three categories. First one non-polar molecular solids, second one polar molecular solids and hydrogen bonded molecular solid. See it is clear from the slide difference between polar molecular solids and non-polar molecular solids where three molecules are given of substances HCl, water and ammonia which are formed by polar covalent bonds. Whereas in case of non-polar molecular solids, they can be made up of atoms like argon, helium, even molecules like three examples are shown in the slide, nitrogen, carbon dioxide, carbon tetrachloride which are formed by non-polar covalent bonds. Hydrogen bonded molecular solids. If you see in the slide there is hydrogen bonding between water molecules that is intermolecular hydrogen bonding. This strong hydrogen bonding binds molecules of such solids like ice means water in solid state. These are non-conductors of electricity. Yes, if you see the next category of crystalline solids that is ionic solids. If you see in the slide there is three dimensional arrangement of sodium ions and chloride ions right that is the ionic solid example is sodium chloride where ions which are sodium ion and chloride ion these are the constituent particles of these ionic solids these cations and anions which are bound by strong columbic or electrostatic forces last category of crystalline solids are metallic solids if you look at the slide they are positive ions which are surrounded by and held together by a sea of free electrons. These electrons are mobile and are uniformly spread out throughout the metallic crystal. So it was all about classification of crystalline solids. In our next class we will discuss about crystal lattices and unit cells. Thank you Shem stars. That's all for today. You can drop your queries on Google Classroom. Take care.